Jason and Santiago here. Jason here is closest to the camera. Santiago is on the far side. They're playing a game called positive and negative. Okay. Jason here is the positive end of the number line. Santiago is the negative end. Okay. The cones are there so that they have to keep the ball deep. Okay. Jason has to hit it beyond the cones. Santiago has to hit it beyond the cones on this side of the court. Okay, of course, they're playing inside the 60-foot blue court, so they have to keep the ball inside the court as well. Every time the ball lands short or they hit it out, they lose a point. So it goes in either positive or negative direction. Santiago is positive, a negative. Jason here, closest to the camera, is positive. Okay, let's see how it goes. Go ahead and start, guys. So we have negative one Santiago at the far end is at negative one because he's a negative end of this of the number scale okay so the fee was short and you guys ended up hit missing the ball so it's still at negative one Okay, so we're at negative two. Okay, so it looks like Santiago over there is at negative two because Jason hit the ball into the net. Okay, we're at negative three, and the feed does count as well. And this is a great game that works on consistency. It teaches the player that to keep the ball as deep as possible while maintaining keeping the ball inside of the court. Okay. It also teaches them to be as consistent as possible to keep the ball in play. Okay, the goal is not to hit winners in this; is actually to keep the ball in play. So, okay, guys, one more point. Okay, 